Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for race number two of the Elgato Summer Showdown. In the last episode, we started things up with the Ascari, and that was insane. For those of you who don't know, Elgato, the guys who make this series possible, Elgato is going to be announcing a bunch of new products. I can't say much more what's going to be included in Elgato's special live stream on Thursday, but it should be pretty cool. As per always, if you do want to check out Elgato who make this series possible, there is a link in the description down below, along with a link to sign up for the next race three for the Elgato Summer Showdown. All you have to do is join our Discord server. You'll see a channel in there and you just give your information. And if you're lucky, you'll get chosen for a race just like this. Speaking of races just like this, you might be wondering where we're racing today. And oh boy, have I built a good racetrack for you guys. We are starting on the circuit all the way over here. But watch out for your braking points. You'll probably want to slam on your brakes fairly early before we eventually head off-road. But again, watch out. You'll eventually arrive at this off-road trail where it looks normal, but it isn't. At the end of the race, you've got some options for some corner cuts where you'll eventually get to the finish line. This is what we're going to be driving today, the Elgato sponsored bus. Once again, DJ has gone in and absolutely smashed it building a paint job. Racers today, go and jump in your VW bus. Go download DJ's paint job and then build your bus up into S1875 class. This is the bus we're going to be running. It's the 1963 Volkswagen Type 2 Deluxe. The Volkswagen minibus. What is it gonna be? So we've luckily got a bunch of engine swaps for ourselves today, including this 4-liter flat 6 ripped straight out of a Porsche 911. And I mean, I'm just saying, right? The Volkswagen bus is rear engine and rear wheel drive, essentially a 911. So we are gonna swap the 911 engine in and then ruin that by making it all-wheel drive. I'm definitely gonna want some better grip as well. Let's go for some rally tires there and some thick boys as well. There we go, that's 875 right on the dot. Maybe I could cheese the system a little bit and upgrade my flywheel. No, 2,400 pounds, 777 horsepower. That's awesome. All right, I'm. I'm feeling actually pretty confident with this thing. Everybody's outside the festival, and I think I've made a massive mistake because I'm the only person who has opted for a roof rack. Not to mention, a bunch of you guys also went with front splitters as well. It's interesting to see the difference between all of the different cars. However, I think everybody, though, actually opted for... Hold on, hold on! Hello? What do you mean you don't like the Volkswagen bus? We pla we planned this out earlier. We can't change the car now. You you made a tune for us to use? What do you mean it has welded suspension and the brakes are a bit funny? You can't be serious. This is actually ridiculous. Everybody's gonna crash everywhere. You know everybody's gonna- All right, fine, fine. This is the one time I'm doing this. I'm never doing one of your two- Bye, bye, bye. We gotta change cars. This is apparently the tune we're gonna be running. It is called the Meme Machine. There's like a bunch of different versions of it. This one is 552 horsepower. This is the circuit that we're gonna be driving around today. 6.9 miles of twist turns off-road and jumps. Just a little bit of a disclaimer, you will end up on your roof a couple of times today. Anyways, we're gonna go late afternoon, lovely sunny day, and no collision. Here we go, lads. I am starting up in P1, and away we go for race number two of the Elgato Summer Showdown. Like I said, watch out for your brakes, and more importantly, watch out for your suspension. 
Yeah, I, I did warn you. Literally everybody has missed the opening checkpoint. Um, like, like I said, you might want to go rather slowly today. <laughs> this is a very different vehicle from what you're probably used to. Also, break early, like I said. Break early or you will miss the corner. See, some people, you are figuring it out. Good job, good job. As you can tell for season nine of the Elgato Racing Championship, we're bringing out some of our favorite vehicles and this is obviously a very famous one. Anyways, things are not going that well for me. I am 15 seconds behind the competition. Cat is currently P1, Nepo is P2, and my welded suspension is having a drastic effect on my driving ability. If you've never seen a vehicle with welded suspension, your, your suspension does not go up and down. We've already entered the rally cross portion of this circuit. I'm bang on in the middle of the pack, 10 seconds behind P1. Do not miss the checkpoint. Good thing the bus is long. Let's go 9.7 seconds to P1. We're gaining. Come on. Oh, some people are missing the checkpoints. We have already jumped up to P5. Somebody forgot that the brakes were no good on that corner. That is an F in the chat for that guy. You can see what I mean. This thing doesn't want to slow it down. We're gaining though. Nepo P1. I like to think of these challenges as the ultimate equalizer because you don't really drive around with these things very often. So you've got to learn how it drives and oh my God, and, and not do that. Absolutely sending it through the corners. After all of the off-roading though, that is not all for the jumps. Providing you're going fast enough, you will get more air on this circuit. Nepo still holding P1 with a five second lead right now. A comfortable lead, maybe giving him time to slow it down and drive safely. We're not doing bad, though. We are not doing badly at all in the Volkswagen bus. Watch out for this corner. This corner caught me off guard when making the circuit. Back into the off-roading. Slow it down. Drive safely. I would love to get P5 back. You can see that everybody's learning how to drive this car. And there's the bus gone. Clips the wheel on the bridge. He gone. That's an F in the chat as well. These buses are definitely not the uh, safest vehicles on the road. Anyways, I will gladly take that P5. Thank you very much. I'm like six seconds behind. P1 is already done. Nepo is able to get the dub with a 10 second lead. And by the way, what would it be if it wasn't for a monster jump? across and into the final corner and across the line p5 in the vw bus so nepo takes it in p1 with a 10 second lead to p2 to breezy that is unbelievable mars finishes up in p3 so gg on being able to control the meme bus very very well played that is such a difficult vehicle to control and you absolutely nailed it nepo you will be joining us in the seventh and final race you saw the challenge you rose to the challenge and you nailed it we will be seeing you in the final nepo if you guys want to sign up for race number three click the link in my description and don't forget to check out the elgato live stream on july 15th where they're gonna be announcing some new elgato products that are gonna change the game.